typically when I'm working construction outside, I'm probably framing, I'm definitely not doing finishing work. I just want to be able to, to be sort of as compressed as possible so that when I'm walking through walls and stuff, I'm not catching on studs or nails. So I, I like a fairly, you know, form fitted jacket. Hey guys, Brad here. Today we're going to be taking a look at Milwaukee's heated M12 jacket. Now I'm really loving this thing, so make sure you subscribe and hit that notify bell because we got lots of cool stuff coming up. So I'm gonna try and limit my movement a little bit because this is a loud jacket. That's my biggest complaint right off the start is that the material when you move, it is kind of loud. So it's kind of like a tech jacket. That's what my wife calls it, <laughs> but yeah. Other than that, it's very durable and I'm going to kind of run you through all the different functions of this jacket. This is a heated jacket. So what we get with this is the jacket itself. We get a 3.0 battery. We get the adapter and we get a charging cable. So what's really cool about this adapter is the fact that you can number one, plug your jacket into it to run it and that will keep you hot. You can plug your phone in here through the USB port. You can also plug other items. It makes it very easy to just charge other items while you're keeping your jacket warm. So you slap the battery in just like this. All right. And then on the top, we've got a power meter. So if you press this button, you can see you've got four bars, so we're fully charged. And if we wanted to charge the battery in here, let's say we didn't have a Milwaukee charger, we could just open this little flap up. We plug this cord in right here. Now, if you plug this into a USB port, you can charge this battery. So it's pretty cool. You could also plug this into a USB port, charge your battery, and run your phone off the bottom here so you're charging everything at the same time. There's a little light that will shine right here when you're plugged into a power source and you're charging. So you just keep this cord in your pocket if you need. Let's talk about pockets. So on the front here, we've got a nice inside pocket, large enough for a cell phone, a notepad, anything like that. On the inside, there's no pockets on the left, but on the right, we've got an extremely deep pocket so you could easily fit like a large cell phone in here, um, extra battery, whatever you wanted to put in, your wallet. So the inside's got a nice liner. I do really like that. And what else do we have here? We've got pockets on the sides. So really deep pockets. And I will add these pockets are heated. So I'm going to show you how to control that in a second. So we got pockets over here. And then on the back, this is where your battery pouch goes in. I can just find it here, right there. So this zips down. And then we've got our cord. Now the cool thing about this, and it's going to be kind of hard to show you on film, but you can pull the battery right through and put it in the front pocket. Okay? So it's got a pass through right here. That way, if you're driving and you've got your battery plugged in the back, you can easily pull it forward and put it in the front pocket. You know, if you've got maybe some rigging on or a big tool belt or something like that, it might just be better to have it in the front. For me, I've just been sort of pulling it up a little bit higher so my tool belt fits underneath and it hasn't been a problem at all. And with driving, I kind of pull it forward as well and it, it seems fine. So that was my biggest concern when I got this jacket was would the battery sort of bug me because it's not exactly small. I mean, it's not huge like with the larger batteries, but it is something big in your pocket and you know, it, it might get in the way. But what I have found is that driving doesn't bug me at all. And when I'm working, it's not bugging me either. So let's plug that battery in and I'll show you the functions here. So it plugs in right there. Okay. Now, I can slip this in just like that, zip it up. Now the zipper on the front, very easy to do up with gloves on. Okay. 
So it just zips up like that. And I, I do really like the fit of this jacket. I gotta say, it's very comfortable, it's super warm. I'm not always running the heat on this, and it just really helps cut that wind. But to turn it on, you hold down the M12 button, and it goes red, so straight into hot mode. And that means we're heating right across the chest, as well as right across the back. So that's what that mode does. Now, if I press it again, we go to white, so that's sort of medium. Then we go to blue, and that's the coolest mode. So just a little bit of heat, but you know it just kind of helps cut that chill. Now let's say our hands are cold, and we want to warm them up in our pockets. We'll just press this other button here, the two hands, and that goes red. Now we can heat up our pockets, and, and it does work quite well. It kind of heats up on the outside. I, I do wish it heated up sort of on the inside of the pocket, like on the palm, but it heats up on the outside here. So, and let me tell you, it heats up fast. I'm already feeling that heat. That's the one nice thing about this jacket is it's, it's instantaneous. Like, you feel the heat right away, especially in the, hand, in the pockets. We've got some Velcro on the front here so we can tighten it up. You know, if you want to have it nice and tight, I just sort of leave it kind of loose. It allows my gloves to fit underneath. And this is a large, and I am about six foot one. And as you can see, it fits pretty nice. It's easy to extend my arms. I'm not feeling any tightness in the chest. It just fits really well. The bottom here as well, we've got drawstrings so we can cinch up the bottom if we need. So that's pretty cool. I haven't had to use that function yet, but it's nice to have. Now, as you can see, I'm pairing it with the M12 hoodie. So we just did a review on that. Make sure you check it out. But the hoodie paired with the jacket, I find keeps me super warm. Yeah, you can plug both batteries in. I wish it had a function where you could just maybe carry one battery and connect the two together. That would be great. But having the hoodie underneath this jacket, I almost don't even need to turn on the jacket itself because the jacket just seems very well insulated. Um, it cuts wind amazingly. So I'm super happy with the overall performance of this jacket. And I gotta say, I, I go through jackets like crazy. I'm always looking for sort of form-fitting jackets. I don't like big bulky jackets for construction, especially because typically when I'm working construction outside, I'm probably framing. I'm definitely not doing finishing work. And uh, I just wanna be able to, to be sort of as compressed as possible so that when I'm walking through walls and stuff, I'm not catching on studs or nails. So I, I like a fairly, you know, form fitted jacket, but everyone's got their own preference. Runtime for a three amp hour battery, according to their stats on the back here, they're saying 12 hours on low, six hours on medium, and three hours on high. And I think that's pretty accurate. I was thinking it's more like four hours on high, but if I think about it, you know, I'm constantly turning them on and off. So it's probably pretty close, three hours on high, and that's typically where I'm keeping this clothing at, is just keeping it on the red hot mode. So overall, I give this jacket two thumbs up, especially if you pair it with the hoodie, then you're just you're totally set. And the price point is great, so we'll leave some links down below. Make sure you follow, make sure you subscribe. Give us a thumbs up if you liked the video. Till next time, keep on crushing it. We'll catch you later.